Hello, friends, and welcome back. This is <laughs> incredible. Um, I like Stratocasters. I've never liked them well enough to own one. Uh, but this is the first Strat I can ever say. I covet this. I'm sitting here thinking what I can get rid of so I could take this home with me. From the Fender Custom Shop, this is the postmodern Strat, journeyman, relic in age black. It has a 59 D neck carve on here that is the finest neck I have ever felt on a Fender. It has nine and a half to 12 inch compound radius. These are narrow, tall frets. The vintage tuners on here, uh, the vintage trim and the bridge saddles. This is just absolutely incredible. I've never played a Stratocaster that felt like this or sounded like this. The tone that you've always looked for in a Strat, it's right here. Plus it feels, it feels like a modern guitar. It feels like a Shredder's guitar. And this is a 59 neck carve. Uh, uh, man, okay, let me go through the specs. Okay, we've got a two piece alder body on here. A rift sawn maple neck. Uh, the rosewood laminate fretboard, which means that other than the, the slab fretboard, this is the kind they went to in the early 60s, around 62 or 63. So the 59 era strats didn't have this. They had the slab rosewood. The laminated rosewood is actually cut in contour with the top of the maple fretboard, which was already rounded. These pickups in here, these are the uh, custom shop hand wound dual mag twos. Master volume with treble bleed, master tone, and this second tone knob down here is a half blend control. So in any of the pickup positions that are just using the bridge and middle, you can dial in as much of the neck pickup as you want. Um, just sweet, sweet stuff. It does have 21 frets, but my gosh. Okay, bridge pickup. And I'm not super clean here, but uh, this is as clean as I want to go. It, it just sounds and feels so good on this guitar. <laughs> I'm going to dial in, little by little, the neck pickup. And when you get it down to zero on this so-called tone knob, you actually have an equal blend between the neck and the bridge pickup. Super nice. Okay, now, position two without the neck pickup in. And you can probably tell that, especially in positions two and four, the quack is there, but the bottom end is just goes on forever. It's, it's just so rich. You can't make this guitar sound thin. Um, okay, I'll dial in the bridge pickup slowly to this. The neck pickup, I mean. And there we have all three pickups on this fine guitar. Middle pickup. Mm -hmm. 
And the middle position through the neck, this doesn't do anything because you're already there. You got it all up here. So, so here we go. I'm in position four now, uh, the middle and neck pickups. And the neck by itself. I cannot get over the tones of this. Um, real quickly, I'm not going to go much longer here. I got to show you a little bit of this on high gain just because I've never really liked strats on high gain. But this is. Um, You can put the neck pickup in that if you want to. Okay, that's enough. Just I don't even need this. Just these tones by themselves. Okay, uh, position two here. position. <laughs> I know, I can't help it. When you get this guitar, you want to play all the classic stuff. Okay, position four. neck pickup. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off and just play this some more, but <laughs> If you're interested in this beautiful guitar or anything else you see, got questions about any guitars, amps, pedals, call the folks here at More Guitars or visit us at More Music in Evansville, Indiana. We would love to see you. We would love to talk to you and help you chase your tones and find the guitar, amp, bass, pedal of your dreams right here. It may be this one, but just give me a chance first. <laughs>